In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to the different types of quadrilateral. So quadrilaterals, the word quad meaning four, so we're looking at four-sided shapes. And these represent the different types, the different named types that we use. So I'm going to go with each one in turn and be identifying their special properties. So we're going to start off with this one up here. This, of course, is the square. Okay. So this is the square. Now the square has some certain properties. It has the property of having all of its angles being right angles, okay, all 90 degrees. It also has the property that all of its sides are the same length, so we can represent the same length sides by using one bar. Okay, one bar against the side. It also has the property of having two pairs of parallel sides. This side is parallel to this side, and this side is parallel to this side. And if you're talking about lines of symmetry, then it has a line of symmetry diagonally, okay, and one there, so that's two, then one there, that would be three, and then one there, that would be four. So it has four lines of symmetry, and it also has a rotational order of four. So that's the square. Similarly, uh, in a similar way, this is a rectangle. Okay. This is the rectangle. Now, it has uh, four right angles as corners as well. It also has two pairs of same sides. So this side is the same length as this one, and these are the same sides. Okay, so I'm using this as a way to represent that these two sides are the same length, while these, um, these two are the same length as well. Okay. Now, it also has a pair of parallel sides, as, like, as did the square. So we've got one there, and then we've got one there. Okay, so two pairs of parallel sides. Lines of symmetry, this one only has two. So it's got one going through the middle, and it's got one going through the middle lengthways. Now, it doesn't have uh, the diagonal as a line of symmetry, because that corner would flip over. If you folded the shape, it would appear over here. Okay, So it doesn't have more than two lines of symmetry. So that's the rectangle. Then we have what's known as the rhombus. Now the rhombus looks like a square that's been shifted over onto its side. It has four sides all the same length. As you can see, it doesn't have any right angles, but it does have the property that its opposite angles are the same. Okay, so this, length, this angle is the same as that one, this angle is the same as that one. It also has the two pairs of parallel sides. Okay. Uh, lines of symmetry. So it has one going from corner to corner there, and one going from corner to corner there. And order of rotation would be two, like it was for the rectangle. Um, or rather, actually, uh, order of rotation, um, can't quite visualise it, probably have to think of it going around, going around as it goes, at that point. Um, no, I think it's only got two, that one. We'll stick with two. If I change my mind, I'll change my mind. Right, this one. This one is an elongated version of the rhombus, and it's called a parallelogram. See if I can just about squeeze it in, there. And the parallelogram has two sides of the same length, okay, those two and these two are the same length. Now we've also got two pairs of parallel sides, hence the name parallelogram. Uh, 
and we also have the idea of the opposite angles being the same. Okay, didn't do that angle very well, it's a bit straight. There we are. So these are the properties of the parallelogram. Uh, lines of symmetry, um, it doesn't have any. Um, order rotation, two. So it can shift round and be on itself. So then we have the kite. Now the kite uh, has some sides the same length, it has those two the same length, and these two are the same length. It doesn't have any right angles, it doesn't have any parallel sides. It does have one key fact that these two angles are the same size. These two, however, are not in general. Uh, lines of symmetry, it just has the one going down the middle. And order of rotation, it will only has, well, as one. It will fit onto itself once. And last but not least, we have the trapezium. Now the trapezium has one pair of parallel sides. It can have right angles, but it depends how you draw it. So you could draw it in a similar way to this. Okay. For example, that would be a trapezium also. Uh, but the key factor is the pair of parallel sides. And that's really as much uh, information as it has. Okay. So depending on kind of how you draw it it can be drawn in multiple ways. So these are the quadrilaterals and um, what's the final verdict on the rhombus for its uh, order of rotation? Um, well, I think it's got to be two uh, because this angle is not the same as that one. So it can't rotate round onto that point. So it can only rotate round onto this point here. So it will only be a rotation of order 2. So these are the quadrilaterals. The next stage is going to be being able to find the area for each of these. Okay? And that's going to be in the next video.